So tell me about like what is kind of occupying your time right now that's keeping you busy yeah. since you're obviously, you're not feature dancing and you're not um, working yeah. on set. Yes. And, you know, I miss that. I really do because it's a way to connect with fans um, aside from, you know, some of the social media platforms that we use, but I don't know, it's live entertainment. And I think nothing beats seeing someone in the flesh. So I'm a little bummed about that, but you know, uh, it's okay. I think after the election, and that's all I'll say, this will probably all be over soon. So um, aside from that, obviously, uh, a lot of the girls and I mean, even non-industry uh, people, cam girls, um, Bella Thorne, I mean, every Bella Thorne, you heard about that. Everybody is kind of jumping on the bandwagon. And I think it's a good thing. Um, uh, I mean, I don't ever, I feel like whatever people do to, you know, supplement their income or whatever they have to do. So if it works for them, it's working for me and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, I enjoy, you know, corresponding with fans and doing the custom videos and that's kind of fun. So it's kind of a naughty couple nights a week where I do actually sneak away to a local hotel. It's a really nice hotel. And, uh, you know, I have my mask, I have my gear and I just go in very discreetly and I go and do my work and then I come back home. Um, you know, now that school started, I can do it at home, but you know, it's a different scenery. So, so that keeps me really busy. Um, Real estate, uh, again, just been kind of looking um, at new places, new uh, couple commercial buildings. Um, so, I mean, that's good. It's exciting, but it's a new area for me. So it's a lot of uh, research and things I don't know. So it's a challenge, but, you know, I get bored easily. So so it's a, it's a good challenge. Um, podcast, that's fun. Uh, painful at times because, you know, I mean, it's like, what the hell are we doing? Are we, we went over on time or we really should have done this. And then to actually listen to yourself, it's completely different. I don't even like to watch my scene. So I, I have to force myself to listen. And yeah. Cause you do need to listen to yourself to improve. I know exactly uh, what you mean. And I've been doing my podcast for about three years and I definitely still feel like there's so much more room for improvement. I hear myself and I hear all of the ums and the likes and it, it it's really irritating. And, uh, and it's funny because, you know, I have my YouTube channel and some of my most popular episodes are my early ones. So I get a lot of negative feedback on my interview skills. And I feel like I've been, I've taken that feedback and I've internalized it and I feel like I've gotten better, but it, it is still annoying to go back and read those comments. And I'm like, but I'm better now. Like stop <laughs> judging me on the way I was a year ago. So what do you find to be the most challenging thing about doing a podcast? I think it is the public speaking portion of it. It's, mm. I don't really think twice about performing, you know, mm. I don't know why, maybe because it's more natural to me. Mm -hmm. However, when I'm in front of it, even though it's, you know, my co-host, I just feel I, I talk fast. I'm high energy. So I need to take a breath, slow it down. And, and I'm doing it now. That's just who I am. Um, again, um, see, and I think one of my people said, if she says this one more time, I'm like, Oh, I really want to. Oh yeah. Ass. Like really, really cut me some slack, homie. But it's, it's constructive and it comes from a, you know, an outside perspective and their fans and they have their, most of their uh, comments are, are positive. However, you know, you have to take in consideration negative feedback and it happens. That's life. So. Yeah. Yeah. As a, as a creator, it's something that is inevitable, especially on YouTube where people just love to troll you. It's mm -hmm. so. I mean, honestly, of all the platforms that I'm on, I get the most amount of negative feedback from my YouTube channel for sure. I think it also works with the algorithm situation too, because the thing is, is that kind of unlike Twitter, Instagram, people generally go on your feed if they know you and they're fans of yes. you and they follow you. Yes. But the way that YouTube works is that it pushes your videos out to people who don't know who you are. If you fall into some kind of algorithm where they think, oh, this person will enjoy this video. So I'll get a lot of people who will come on and be like, who the fuck is Holly Randall? And this girl's a moral, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. So, so it leaves you more open to those kinds of criticisms, but it's also a, a great way people discover you so much more easily. And it's, it's a great way to really get your name out there. 
So what gave you the idea to tell us a little bit more about the podcast? It's called Beauty and the Beast, right? It is. And tell us um, what it's about, what gave you the idea for it, what your co-host is like, what your episodes are about, all that stuff. Yes. So, oh, my co-host. Love him to death. He's great. I met him uh, a couple of years ago in Vegas. I was celebrating my birthday and we had mutual friends. Um, He is a UFC fighter. He had taken some time off due to a really, really tragic, it was probably one of the worst injuries uh, the, the surgeon said he had seen of that type and it was pretty bad. So he didn't know if he was going to fight again. So he was doing some stuff for YouTube. He has this thing called beat my meat and, um, you know, he bets he's into sports. So, I mean, he's always, he, he trains at the gym. Like he has a group of, I don't know, like young college guys or whatever back in Kansas city. So he's always doing something, but I never knew that he was going to, you know, decide to fight again. So I thought he's really funny. We have good chemistry. And, um, I knew I couldn't do it myself. I, I mean, I could, but no, I, I just don't No, Let's be real. I probably, I, I need somebody who's a little bit more humorous and, and witty. And, and that was him. So I, I asked him, I said, you know, I was thinking about doing a podcast. Have you ever thought about doing it? Or is that something that interests you? I think it would be really cool and we do well together. And he said, yeah, yeah, that's, you know, sounds good to me. I, I think that'd be cool. You know, I don't have anything going on right now at that time. He didn't have a fight. So we just started kind of going back and forth and, and coming up with ideas and beauty and the beast, you know, some days he's the beauty and I'm the beast, depending, you know, on what kind of day I've had. However, he just, we, well, he came up with the name and I was like, I like that. So it's kind of how we came up with the name. And it talks about, you know, just, what we did over the past week, we talk a little bit about MMA, a little bit about sex. We feature like a hottie of the week on Instagram. Um, what else? We do this game called, uh, instead of, you know, how I have the Mary kill game, we do mm. porno wedding fight. So you, who'd you want to make a porno with, you know, uh, who'd you, you would marry and then, um, fight. So, so yeah, so it's kind of fun and we're still learning our, our way and our time and, but it's okay. It's a process and it's another challenge and I need something else to do because I can't have sex on film right now. So 